In this lesson, you're going to see how you can set up emails for your drip products. This is where you release your content over time. So it could be on set dates like 1st of June, 25th of June, 7th of July, or it could be based on the number of days after they're signed up. So if you're doing something like a weekly challenge, you could do after every seven days, send them an email about the next module. Regardless of how you drip your products, reminder emails are vital because people will forget and they need that prompt to go into your member vault and access your product. Let's look at time drip modules. So in member vault, let's just have a look at how that's set up. Go into products, um, click edit for the product you want to drip. And on the type, you just need to make sure that it says time dripped. That means your modules will be released after a certain number of days from when they've signed up. That's all you need to do in Member Vault. Back into MailChimp, you need to create an automation which will um, send an email based on that schedule, based on um, when the modules are going to drop. How you do that looks differently to whether you're on a free plan or on a paid plan. Let's look at the free plan first. On the free plan, you go into Create, click Email, click Automated, and select when subscribers are tagged. We're going to base this on when they sign up because that's the whole idea of a time drip product is based on when they sign up. So click email subscribers when they're tagged. Change this to say MVMC, you know, drip emails, drip email one, for example. Leave the audience as it is if you only have the one or change it to the right one and click begin. So this is going to create an automated email that's got one email in it because you're on the free plan. And because we're using tag and that's based on when they signed up, you would have already created a tag to welcome them, to send them your welcome email. And that's what we're going to select here. So instead of sending them an email one day after a tag, we click edit, select seven days or enter seven days, select the tag of purchase. So seven days after they've bought your product, you're going to send them this email, click update trigger. And that's as simple as that. So seven days afterwards, they'll get one email to say that module is ready. But because you're on a free plan, you can't add any more emails to this. So the workaround with this is to create a second automation. You can call it drip email two, and set your trigger to be 14 days after they've purchased. And then you create a third one, set your trigger to be 21 days after the purchase. So that way you can simulate a series of automated emails, even on the free plan. And that's amazing. If you're on a paid plan, then this is not a worry for you because you'll get a link here, which you click, I think it's add another email that will add a second automated email that looks like this. And the trigger will be set to after the previous email sent. So you just need to amend that days to be seven days and then the next one will be seven days and you just chain them based on when the previous email in the sequence was sent. So that's how you do it if you're using classic automation, whether you're on a free plan or on a paid plan. However, if you're on a paid plan, there is a nicer way to do this called customer journeys. So to do that, you go back to the main screen, click on automations, click create, and then select customer journeys. Enter the name of your customer journey, which is just an automation, and I'll call it MCMV drip, start building. Again, remember that we're going to base this on when they signed up to the product and you already have a tag for this. So choose your starting point of tag added, choose your tag, which is when they're purchased and save starting point. So when they're purchased, they would have got a welcome email. You can add this to the same sequence. So you could go, they've purchased, send them a welcome email, add a delay action of one week. That's already set to, that's fine. Send them another email to say the module, module has dropped, add another delay action, send them, send them another email and so on. So you get the idea. Or what I like to do is to have my welcome email separate. So I don't want it here. I already have a welcome email automation, which I'm not going to amend. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then here I'm going to say after they're tagged, after they've purchased, delay it for seven days. And then, oh, I didn't need to add that one again. Delay it for seven days, send them an email for the next module, add another delay, send them another email, and you just build, that, build out that flow in the customer journey. So this is much more visual, um, but essentially does the same thing as a classic automation. And that is how you do time drip emails in MailChimp.
Now we're going to look at date drip modules. Back in Member Vault, that will be where the type is date drip and your modules are released on specific days of the year. Back in MailChimp, the most straightforward way of doing this is just to create a regular campaign and schedule it. That's it. So go to create, email, create a regular one. So you would go for MC, MV, um, and then you'd say something like module one. And I like to enter the date here. So 2605.21, begin, you'll build your email. Once you're done, schedule that email for that date. And that's it. That is the most straightforward way of doing this. If you're on the free plan, unfortunately, you can't schedule your email. So I would suggest you set a reminder um, on your phone or wherever you set your reminders for the date you need to send that email and then come back into MailChimp, save your email as draft. And when you first create it, come back into MailChimp and send your email when it needs to go out. If you're on a paid plan, you can schedule and it will just go out automatically for you. There is that schedule button at the top, which will be activated once you've populated the content of your email. And that's how you date drip emails for your date drip products. So just a quick recap, we've looked at two ways you can set up emails for your drip products. If you're using time drip, you use an automation for that one and you just set the delays to be um, the time gaps between your modules. If you're doing a date drip, you just schedule a regular campaign for the date you want it to go out for. It's as simple as that.